Set up your cameras and give us chance, please. Honorable Kunchi, Senya, can you pray for us? Slightly go again. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على النبي الكريم The Chief Whip of the Kano State House of Assembly The Deputy Chief Whip Former Right Honorable Speaker and Members of this Committee Other Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen Our Special Guests you are very much welcome. The Attorney General and his team, you are all welcome. Before we start, please let us set the rules clear. During the sitting, we are going to allow the witness to talk on behalf of himself and the witnesses of the Delhi Nigeria on behalf of Delhi Nigeria and the representative of the Kano State Governor the lawyers representing Kano State Governor and the Attorney General for the public so we kindly request everybody to respect the seating to switch off your phones please and to watch how this proceeding is going to take place. We want to respect everybody here and respect especially the Japa Japa and the Delhi Nigeria who are our guests here for the proceeding. Now before I go further, I want to make an announcement by the A.A. Umar and Co. Solicitors Advocates of the Supreme Court of Nigeria, which will receive a letter of withdrawal from legal services uh, to Japar Japar. Uh, I want to read, please. The above subject will pass, please, with further reference to your two letters of instruction, both dated 19th October. 2018, in which you requested us to represent both Penlight Media Limited and Japar Japar. Please report to your earlier verbal notice in which I notify you of your decision to withdraw our representation in the above subject for the personal reasons. We wish to express our gratitude to you for requesting our services. Also, I, on behalf of this firm, and the legal team wish to express our regret for any inconvenience our withdrawal will cause. Please accept my highest respect and regards to your esteemed self and your newspaper. Thank you sincerely. Uh, you respectfully, Dr. Nasr Ali, Head of Chambers. Now we are only receiving this letter this morning, and uh, I think for fairness, probably they have communicated them to the Delhi Nigeria and to Malan Japar. Uh, however, if you are with other teams of lawyers who will represent you or who will be with you and the Delhi Nigeria, yeah. we'll be obliged to receive them now and accept them yes. at this uh, seating because it's uh, an abrupt uh, notification to us and we will not deprive anybody from yeah. probably presenting any other legal services right now. If you have a letter yeah. to that effect, we receive it. If you don't, you tell us the names of your team yeah. 
yeah. you come along with, then we proceed. I have uh, with me Barista Ambule and Barista Adam Bashir. Okay. And who is the next person? He is part of me. He is our graphics editor at Daily okay. Nigerian. Okay. Can we have the names, please? Yeah. Barista Isaac Ambule and Barista Adam Bashir. Ambule is my friend, so. <laughs> um, we are now going to start our business of the day, and I want everybody to know that we are going to be covered by the rules of the Constitution of the People's Republic of Nigeria and by the rules of this House. So anything we are going to do will be strictly working under these uh, two provisions. Now, Malin Japa, you are welcome. Welcome. And sorry to ask uh, another question: Is this uh, are they representing the uh, Delhi Nigeria as well? Yeah, both both the entities. Uh, okay, yourself and uh, yeah, myself and the company. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Secretary, you take note. You are sincerely welcome to Kano State House of Assembly. Thank you. And I'm sure everybody knows why we are here. Uh, before we go further, I'd like to tell everybody here to know that uh, all security arrangements have been made for Malan Jappers here and the return safely and the members of this committee. And I want to state clearly that to date we have not had any problem with any side, either from the side of the government or from the side of the Jaffa Jaffa. I have not had any information from the members of this committee or my humble self or Malan Jaffa of any intimidation to our lives. So I think we are good to start this business of the day. Once again, we are welcome to Colonel State House of Assembly. Like I rightly said, it's an investigative committee uh, on allegation of bribery collection by yourself and your newspaper against the Kano State uh, Governor, Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduzi. Can you kindly tell this committee your name and address? Yeah, my name is Jaffer Jaffer. I live at uh, Plot 111 Olishegu Nobasanjo Way, Uye Abuja. Um, what area of journalism have you specialized in and for how long have you been in that? Yeah, I have been in this job for 11 years. I started, uh, I had, I started my journalism career at Daily Trust where I spent four or five years there before I was appointed special assistant to Kano State Governor on Media and Public Relations. After which I returned back to newsroom after the expiration of the tenure, I returned back to newsroom where I joined Premium Times for one year, after which I established Daily Nigerian, which I am actually, I'm, I am currently the publisher, editor-in-chief of the uh, publication. I'm sure you know this committee invited you in respect of the video clips you release uh, in your newspaper and your website. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which you claim to be the video of Kano State Governor receiving bribe. Yeah. Can you tell 
tell this committee how you come about those videos? Yeah, really, a whistleblower gave me the videos, someone I know quite uh, for some years, and um, he complained to me. It started when he complained to me some two years ago that the governor is in the habit of receiving or serially receiving bribes from multiple contractors that are operating in Kano. And he collects from 15 to 30 percent to 25 percent commission on every project executed in the state. So on this, uh, in this regard, You have your video, uh, recorders, audio recorders? Yes. Okay. You can transcribe? Yes. Yeah, after go ahead. Just go ahead. Yes. Okay. Mr. Ambali is protected by the chair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, why? Uh, so, after receiving such complaint, I told him that we need to have a concrete evidence for us to go ahead and publish any story regarding that. Because we do not have, uh, if we don't have enough evidence to go ahead and say that, the governor is receiving bribe. It will be, uh, for the, for, uh, in the first it is one year pickup. And then it, it will be unprofessional, of course, also to just go ahead based on hearsay and claim that the governor is collecting bribe. While the governor cannot uh, come out clearly uh, to accept that, uh, despite the fact that somebody else outside, despite the trust you have in him, the friendship and all that, you cannot just go ahead and publish your story, even if you satisfy your conscience that that story is, is actually true. But you have to follow the rigors of verification before you publish something of that magnitude. So when uh, he agreed to uh, fix a spy camera on his captain level to capture multiple shots of the governor while in the act of taking bribes, yeah, I appreciated the idea, and he went ahead. He captured a lot of uh, clips uh, showing the governor receiving bribes. Out of about 15 clips, nine of them showed the governor's face. About six did not show the governor's face. In view of that, I told him that the rest that do not show the governor's face, we cannot go ahead to publish them. Despite the fact that there was uh, the voice, uh, the conversation is identifiable. You can, if, if whoever knows the governor knows that that, com uh, that voice is actually his. So we cannot go ahead and publish that. We went ahead and published at least two of the clips. We initially released one. When people doubted about the credibility due to absence of conversation in the clip, because we didn't declare the conversation with our signature tune, which is a flute that is uh, running all through the first video we released. So in the subsequent one, we let the voice to run through. The reason for hiding the voice is just to hide the whistleblower and other people who are being mentioned in that video clip. So that is the, uh, uh, the process we, we undertook. And um, let me also refer back to the process of verification before publishing the clips. Sometimes, uh, the nature of news, really, you have to have news judgment. If you satisfy your conscience that this is actually true, you can just go ahead and publish something without even subjecting it to a uh, second opinion. But in this case of uh, this particular video in question, we invited amnesty officials, amnesty international officials, before they agreed to, 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 to get involved in the matter. They look at the videos and certify them to be genuine. Despite the fact that we have graphic experts who first said that no, these videos are genuine, and you subject them to, subjected them to some back end process in identifying the genuinity of the clips. And apart from that, we also ask our editorial advisor to also look at this issue. He also certified them to be genuine. In addition to this, before BBC agreed to air the story about the clips, we have to also invite them to come and, have an op and look at them to ensure that whether these are doctored or in their word cloned, 
or tampered. They said that they, these are original clips. Then we went ahead and published them on October 14. Um, you have answered my PIPS question in your explanation and uh, the sixth question as well. Now, can you tell us who this uh, whistleblower is since you are sure of the authenticity of the videos? Well, in the spirit of uh, universal principle of confidentiality, we cannot do that because we are irreverent to that uh, principle. We cannot disclose our source. Uh, Marlon Jaffer, uh, you know, this is just the beginning of this um, investigative panel, and to we'll be going further to so many interrogations, uh, asking or inviting so many other personalities, and I don't know how it is going to look like if we do not have sufficient uh, evidence uh, to know if for instance, you can bring that person, let's agree in principles that we are not going to disclose the identity of that person. If that person can testify in a small committee, I agree with you, it's the rules of the game, like we said, we are going to work under the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, and by the rules of this whistleblowing law, uh, of course, uh, whistleblower is protected unless he's fine, found guilty of. Yeah, uh, I would. Uh, before I comment on that, I would have to consult my solicitors in yes. a larger forum yes. to discuss the issue and see whether it is uh, agreeable within yes. the context of the law. Yes, it's okay. Um, do you have anything to tender to this committee as requested in the letter? We sent you the written statements, uh, the videos you have uh, uh, posted on your Instagram website and yeah. what have you. Yeah, I have my written statement and um, I have a full compact disc yes. in which I uh, downloaded the uh, videos the one we published and the ones that do not, we did not uh, deaden the conversation that are in the clips. So if you may wish to provide uh, a gadget where we can play them to people, they can hear the conversations. You can present it to the committee. Uh, like I told you, we are uh, going to play by the rules. Okay. Uh, the rules of this house would uh, A to 1D do not allow for that. Uh, you are just telling this house that uh, the rules of the whistleblower covers that person. But how would you satisfy that I did not maybe copy cartoon or some animations and just put them? Uh, Without perhaps uh, knowing what is in the content, you may not know what I put inside. No. One, we are going to receive it. Uh, secondly, it involves three things. Number one, uh, you have, or we are definitely going to invite you again with your uh, graphic specialist, you said. We will also give the side of the governor the chance to provide a specialist on the same aspect. Can you listen to me? Mustambli. Mustambli. Hold up, please. I am telling you the rules or how we are going to take this thing. Okay. One, when we receive this document and the videos in particular, we are going to play them uh, under your presence or your lawyers with your specialist uh, to prove the authenticity of these videos. We are going to give the governor's side chance to provide specialists who will also see if there is no authenticity to see it. And more importantly, the Kano State House of Assembly is going to provide an independent person, not known to you and to the governor, who will also advise this committee and the House in general on the authenticity and or other rights of these videos. So when you turn that to the committee, this is going to be uh, done as soon as possible within the time frame we are given to do this work. 
And I think you are okay with that? I'm okay. All right. for you. Are you not done with the drilling? I know how you drill your clients in court. Yes. Can you take the mic? Can you take the mic? Okay. Thank you. Your Honor, I just want to say with profound respect to this honorable house and your humble self that we do not at all object to these items being submitted for the purpose of your education and uh, further investigation. However, when this is being played, we want to plead with your conscience and to appeal to you that we will want to be present, even if my client is not going to be around. As his counsel and I being a person that is on ground here in Kano, I will want to be there and I will urge you not to this allowed me from coming to witness the play among the committee that is going to be set up by this house. This is my prayer. If that can be, that will be okay for you, we'll be very grateful. I most likely, I think you just repeat what I just said. Okay. I think the general public heard me well. <laughs> Mr. Ambler, you are busy discussing with, your, with my friend also. <laughs> yeah. let, me say, let me say it clear for you. Yes, sir. That the rules of this house would are it Rule 1D did not allow for such presentation in the chambers. Okay. It is not my own making. <laughs> and I think just now he, your client said he cannot mention the name of his whistleblower, nice. which we have no any right to say he must do so, because he's covered by the rules of the Constitution of the Peter Republic of Nigeria. Am I correct? That is very true. So what we will do is when you go further, I just give you the uh, main rule. When you go further, it clarifies how you go about all these things. All right. And definitely, you are going to be there. Okay, if he wants, he's going to be there. Right. His specialist, whoever he chooses, is going to be there. The representative of the governor's sites are going to be there. And the Antony General, I know you know very well, more than myself, what is the office of the Antony General. Mm -hmm. Antony General is not here for the governor, he's here for the public. He's a public office. The rest of the lawyers, I think, uh, he came with them probably are representing the governor. Yes, so we are going to produce an independent person, not known to you, not known to the governor, Beautiful. but working for the State House of Assembly and to the committee to have a look at all these things. Probably when we start looking at uh, videos in this kind of uh, situation, we may not have a chance to digress and to say this is A, this is B, this is C, or what have you. So I assure you we are going to be there, and uh, I assure the public that anything short of what I said, I accept Jaffa Jaffa should make it public, 
for the public to know we are debating from what we agree in the public. Is that okay? Yes. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do have anything from the Daily Nigeria, or oh, your explanation covers all. Yeah, I think if you have some more questions to ask, you can proceed with your questions. I think these are going hand in hand, unless if you are, if you have anything to say on behalf of Daily Nigeria, if it is okay with you, the two questions yeah. go hand in hand with the with yourself, humble self, and the Daily Nigeria. No, we can only restate, uh, reaffirm, and recertify that what we have published is genuine, accurate, and untempered, undoctored content. Okay. Uh, Anthony John, do you have anything for the public? Distinguished members of the committee, ladies and gentlemen, good morning or good afternoon. Let me start by restating my position as Attorney General of Kano State. Particularly, I understand large number of the public do not understand the position of the Office of the Attorney General. Office of the Attorney General is not a political office. It serves all the people, not only of Kano state origin, but all the people who are living in Kano. And we are standing for the public interest. So I am standing not for the governor of Kano state as a person, Dr. Abdullah Umar Ganduji, but I am standing for the public office, which is for the people of Kano State. That is the office of the governor and the people of Kano, people living in Kano. And the purpose is to ensure that justice is done to everybody, justice to the society, justice to Jafar Jafar, justice to the governor himself as a person, justice to the office of the governor. So in order to avoid any misconception, that is my stand and that is my position. So whatever I will ask Mr. Chairman is just to ensure that justice is done to everybody. I have some few questions so that the committee will get more parts for its digestion to uh, Marlon Jaffa Jaffa. It's just a few questions, and they are very simple. I'd just like to know when you first received the video clips, the time or the date or the months is sufficient. The first time you received, if you receive it differently altogether, you can explain when you first received the video clip. Or all the video clips, depending on yeah, I think it was, uh, September. which year? This year, 2018. Okay, September. Yes, September. Yes. yes. From the history blower. Yeah. September 2018. I received, but yes. I have not watched. I have watched them much longer than the first time. Uh, I did not.
Honorable Attorney General, uh, I received these clips in September 2018. That is last month. But I watched them well over a year. Thank you. September 2018, and it was published in October, yeah. same year, 2018. Now, I know being a journalist, you as a journalist, you have a principle uh, which is applicable to everybody, which is in accordance with the Constitution, the issue of prior hearing. I don't know whether there was any balancing with the other party after receiving the video, whether you have balanced the information or the video or whatever from the other side. Even before we publish the videos, the state government has already put the cart before the horse, preempting that the videos are cloned or whatever and what have you because probably they may have watched them and perhaps they are expecting them to be released so they are just preempting or trying to see how they will, uh, they, they will manage the situation because yeah, the situation was tense yeah 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 Yeah, you know, Colonel State, since they released their statement, that saved me. And in the second, there is a second story I did, which I contacted. Wait, okay, I did, in one of the stories I did. No, sorry, it's not me. Okay. I say, whether there was balance on the side of the country. That is why I am saying again. There is balancing because the state government has already issued a statement. What more balancing do I need? Maybe you didn't get my question, Honorable Attorney General. No answer. I'm looking for answer, not question. Uh, my answer. Maybe you didn't get it correctly. <laughs> you have not answered the question. Actually, <laughs> you, you are providing more parts yeah. that the state government did a particular act. What I'm saying is, you, after receiving that information, AG. without. Eji, uh, if I may help you, probably we'll be coming to this uh, level. But if I may help you ask this question, can you take your seat, please? Okay. Mr. Jabal, the question is asking is that do you balance your story? Balancing means, if we can go to the layman's language, you have seen this tissue, yeah. and the pack is empty, and you want to say to the world that the people selling this tissue, they always sell with empty packs in the curtain. Before telling the world, did you go to the company, or did you go to the state governor or the commissioner of information or any of his aides that are responsible for speaking on behalf of the government and the governor to balance the story. Well, Wait, wait, let, let them correct it. Mr. Chairman, assuming uh, somebody is hungry, trying to ask another person to give him food to eat, before he asks for that food, then the person that he is going to ask for food 
brought the food to him. What would you ask again? Would you say, no, give me food? After the person has already brought the food, read the stories, all the stories we publish. Read them to see if we did not balance the stories. You see, the, the sight of balancing means bringing, uh, giving the, the government their own side of the story. And they've already stated it. And it is in, in the stories we, we published. Did you meet with anybody within the government cycle? I did not. Simple. All right. Um, AG. Uh, AG, take your seat, please. Uh, I'm happy uh, Mr. Ambele is here. He knew why I allowed this. The Constitution has permitted you to, the, the seat has all the powers to do that. But I want us to have some, they can probably put in writing all other things you want to ask uh, so that the question will come straight away from the chair. Uh, we can be guided by you on what and what are supposed to probably be done uh, and we will do it. But I know you are empowered by the Constitution to have these powers, but let it be not be looked like uh, we are trying to give you a chance to start cross-examining or deprive him from, or discredit him from anything. Uh, put everything in writing to the committee, uh, because it's not yet before us. I just give the respect of the office. I think that will be better, is that? Probably these things will come after the certification of the videos and what have you. These videos, we can decide to do it anywhere. We can go to Abuja, Malan Japan. We can go to Abuja, we can come here, we can go anywhere, but probably because of the nature uh, of where the investigation is taking place, I've seen so many write-ups with you and other people. Lastly, what I want to ask you for you to tell this public and the entire people of uh, Kano State, Nigeria, uh, and the world at large, because this issue has generated a lot of controversy. Uh, how do you find yourself here? Are you being given all the necessary protection by the security agents? Have you received all the warm treatment by the State House of Assembly? Or have you have the other rights? Yes, Mr. Ambele.
greatest respect to this house that since it's a committee, this further investigation into this matter be relocated to neutral ground for the sake of the security of those that are going to be invited and for because even if it is a neutral ground somewhere else. I know that the media, electronic and the print media are there to carry the news, so everybody will know what is going on. So that's my suggestion, sir. We keep on respect. Uh, Mr. Ambley, it's not anything big. Actually, we tell the world that this is going to be public. And especially for your client, uh, we don't want people to think we went under cover. And if we bring a report not in his favor, uh, at the end of the day, we may likely be challenged and the public may not likely accept the outcome of this investigation. Uh, and if we come with the report in his favor, uh, the other side of the governor will say probably the governor is not in good terms with the state assembly. They want to remove him. This is already on the papers. I think Jabba is a lot simply. <laughs> so I think if we can give him adequate security, that's why I ask him this, and I want the, uh, the journalist to take it through, that he will be protected. The most important thing is him being protected, yeah. yes. and you yourself. And when we close from here, I take you for a lunch in my house. You are my <laughs> friend, so I think that's not a problem. Uh, so let us continue the way it is, but probably there are other things we will do, like the video Okay. Uh, analysis because it made a cool, quiet place that all what you present to us will be looked at uh, and will be able to analyze. Uh, objections and acceptance and what have you is allowed there too. Yes, uh, I think that <laughs> will be the, all right. We are most grateful. Okay. Uh, don't worry. They are true. They are, they are true. Um, they are true. Uh, Turanchi kuma asaka musu suma su ji abubuwan da aka gabatar kuma kamar yanda muka ce wata kila kafin wannan rahoto ya fito insha Allah al'umma za su iya yin hukunci da kansu da sauran jama'ar kasa gaba daya Malam Jafar muna so ka yi mana bayanin kanka a takaice da Hausa to suna nan jirgin gabar fi nawa ne da zaka koma karfe biyu to in kai blayin kanka kai kai blayin ba ni ba Okay. Uh, one non committee me Alberka, the escaping kitchen one non uh what to video the Akasaki, the reader Motadili and Jen Tasaki, the Go Mambobi and the reader uh Lowy, the Southern Dukot and the Sky Latin and Tarubaka Muda Rana. Now Pukul Sudana Japur Japur, Nini Edit and Jerida Daily Nigerian, what she ta buga video guda biyu da ke nuna gwamnatin jihar Kano Dr. Abdullahi Umar Ganduje yana karban na goro a hannun yan kwangila bayan mun kafin mu buga wannan bidiyo wato wadannan bidiyo guda biyu sai da muka tabbatar da sahihancin su domin kuwa saboda wato girman abun dole sai an yi takadan san saboda ba ko bai kamata a ce ka zo mutane masu daraja ka zo ka musu kage mu ka zo ka musu shari shi saka muka saka wanda gwanaye suka san harkar ba ni kada ba duk da ni iya sani na na san bidiyon na gaskiya ne saboda na san wanda ya bani fiye da shekara biyu yace ya dauki wato bidiyos din sai kwanan nan a watan satumba nan ya bani su ni kuma tun da ya bani nake ta juya su nake mulmula su ina kara a hankali ina tabbatar da sayyancin su kafin mu zo mu saki ga jama'a domin mu guji wa mutsa gwamna kasafi akan ƙarya so bayan mun buga wadannan bidiyo jama'a ko kuma ce jihar Kano suka zo suna cewa ƙarya ne hadi ne mu dai har yanzu mun tsaya kan batun mu na cewa wannan abun gaskiya ne Qur'ani ne girma a gabana nan 
kuna za ta ce rantsi za rantsi kan sahiyancin wadannan bidiyo har yanzu kuma na dogara kan wannan magana cewa abubuwan da na saki na gaskiya ne ko ina zan tsaya akan haka na cewa na gaskiya ne saboda mun yi da yaci akwai wakili da yazo daga Amnesty International yazo duba kafin su shiga al'amarin su rika wato su rika lura da cewa yaya abubuwan yake tafi kar a taba ni kar a taba lafiya ta saboda sakin wadannan bidiyon idan da wato abun nan wato wani majigi ne na ƙarya na zo da shi ba wanda zai shiga cikin al'amarin haka yan premium times su ma suka turo wani su ma ya zo gani kafin su buga da suka tabbatar da sayyancin abun su ma sai suka je suka buga haka abun da ya faru da BBC su ma sai da suka zo suka gani wakilin su da ya zo ya gani tabbatar na gaske ne wata ƙilda katun na nuna masa ba zai dauk labarin ba shine sai dauki labari ya hira da ni akan abun to wannan shine abin da nake so in cewa wannan committee ina kara roko a gare su cewa su yi wannan aiki tsakanin da Allah duniya na gani wannan abu ne da shafa al'umar jihar Kano kuma ba wai dan siyasa aka yi wannan abu ba idan dan siyasa ne jama'a ma ba su ga wato wannan bidiyos din ba wata kin da 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 kudi zan je a bani na kisa kasu bayan haka ina so in ƙara tabbatar da jama'a cewa wannan abun ba siyasa ba ce a ciki domin wallahi nake fada akwai attajirin da ya kira ni ya nune ni yace in zo kan magana wannan bidiyos din da ya gani yana dami a kansu shi ma ya gani tabbatar da siyantar su yace to zai kai ni kasar waje da iyali na mu je mu zauna saboda kula da lafiya ta sai naji dadi can washe gari sai zo ci amma ba zan saki ba sai an gama canjin yan takara saboda idan ABC ta zama an gama canjin yan takara ka ga bayan da za a canja gwamna sai ya ce a a wallahi ni ba dan siyasa bane dole wannan abun tunda aiki na nake na jiwa wane ne wannan tajiru wane ne wannan tajiru ai babu dadi a tona asirin shi to ina so a bayanan ka yanzu ka gabatar da su da abin da ba za mu iya substantiating wato tabbatar da sahihancin labarin ba a yi hakuri su wannan na jin for consumption din ka ne kenan idan kuma za a iya tabbatar da labaran idan misali ne wai nake ba mutane cewa ba siyasa ba ci domin wai suna cewa siyasa ko wai na yi aiki da konkoso shi ya saka na abu nan duk aikin da na yi da konkoso ai ban kai da girma gwamna ba da suka fi shekara 40 tare kuma ya dauke shi da ke shi ya ya fi ya gwamnan na yanzu ya ji kutanci da shi malam jafa shi gwamna malam jafa ka fita daga sahun abin da muke magana a a easy please ka fita daga sahun bayanan da muke yi to wannan muna so mu sami decorum a a su police a bayanin da kai na'am na saka videos din nan na'am za ka iya gaya wa wannan committee da al'umma da suke jin ka wane ne ya baka wadannan videos din da ka ce ba kai ne ka yi su ba to tsarin aikin jarida ya ce a dena fadin wato in dai har mutum bai yadda a fadin shi ba wanda ya ba da labari ana saka yayi sunan shi saboda gudun kada wasu su je su cin masa saboda zafin abun shi ya saka to ƙa'idar aiki ta buƙaci ka inda ƙa'idar aiki ta ne mu ce a fade shi zan fade shi to ko za ka iya neman izinin sa idan zai amince a yi bayanin sunan sa zan tuntubi lauyoyina mu ƙara duba jadawalin doka abinda doka ta wada ta gabatar akan wato koda zai iya zuwa ta bayan fagi ya samu committee yanda ba jama'a ne suka gan shi ba za mu tattaunar da gungun lauyoyina sai mu yi tunanin abin da ya dace shin ka zo da wani document a rubuce kamar yanda muka nema a wasikar mu da kuma sample na irin wannan bidiyo tabbas na zo da wato bayani na a rubuce a wanda yake da karin bayani fiye da abin da na fada a nan sannan kuma na zo da su wadannan bidiyos din na zo da har wanda yake da magana dan a guda daya sarewa muka saka ta kamfanin mu amma a cikin wanda muka saka a cikin abin nan fefan cd da kuma abin nan flash disk dan mun saka bidiyos din da ne magana da maran magana ku mamukin committee sai ku ji tunda jama'a dama ana za ka iya ne ko wannan committee wannan videos just for record 
It's just for record we have received it now. Yeah. 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 Probably that I question then yeah. lead question now Abunda Kesiko. No. Zaka you know one of the committee what are the documents that you tell the school to do the paper and video? Tell us now. Then we can committee. To allow the lie among the one and video. No. Kuma Kamayanda Makay Yi Bani Bayan Zen Tapikan Tambar Kubani the Makay Chua one and video Zamu Sakashi kamayende dukanna ngina ntata nada chiwa idang ansa amewana abiru mwana duka tatakwas karamu nsashi na daa daa chiwa ng ansa amewiru mwana ana saka wani aklu sashi watu achikinsuri agani atabuta desi yanchi nsa ama mu zamu saka nida wakini nka lawa nka da kai kanka da specialist naka wanda yace maka wannan abu gaskiya ne za mu ba wa bangaren gwamna dama ya kawo wakilin sa ko da shi kansa da wanda yake kwararre akan sanin irin waɗannan abubuwa shi ma a matsayin wakilin sa da kuma office din Anthony General kamar yadda ne bayani office din Anthony General office ne wanda doka ta kafa shi yake yin aiki dan al'umma ba aikin gwamnati alun ba kuma doka ta constitution ta kasa ta bashi dukkan wannan powers na gudanar da wayannan abubuwa ko shiga cikin su kai tsaye ba majalisar dukokin jihar Kano ce kai ta bashi wannan dama na zuwa ko bayanai da yaba sannan zamu kawo mu kuma namu kwararran wanda zai duba ya tabbatar mana da sahihanci ko aka san haka na wannan bidiyo sannan kuma da karshe and most importantly shine su wadanda suka gabatar maka da wannan abubuwa za mu saurare ka idan Allah ya sa sun amince su zo su shida cewa sune suka yi wannan abu suka kawo suka gabatar kamar yadda kace kuma mun yi alƙawarin za mu sirranta sunan su da su ayi su wana shine abinda muka yi take ta hakanin jama'a to jama'a assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh muna godiya kuma mun yi maka tambaya cewa ka sami cikakken tsaro na lafiyar ka da abokan tafiyar ka zuwan ka nan kuma ka sami karba daga majalisa babu harassment tabbas haka yake domin gaskiya kan babu wani wato tunanin tsoro ko fargaba tunda na ga Assistant Commissioner na yan sanda guda uku aka turo kan tawagar su tabbatar sun tabbatar da lafiya ta daga lokacin da nazo zuwa lokacin da zan koma inda nake to alhamdulillah zamu next sitting da yanda za a yi shi zamu sanar insha Allah at any time kuma da muke bukatar ka za mu communicating your writing da kuma daily Nigeria da office na Anthony General da mai girma gwamna ko wakilan sa Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Azami adua niko Jamaa muna Gudia ta musamma ngariku Mnjidabi gwari yenda aka bada hadin kai Yenda aka zauna aka saurari Wana zama Da jami an saru Mungudi ambada chika kian saru Wajan wana aiki Enjo rida Muna pata za airporting Dika binda aka gani sakani da Allah kuma muna gudewa Jafar Jafar da Delhi Nigeria suna da suka samu da marhalarta da office din Anthony General ayi ayi hakuri ayi hakuri kada wanda ya fita a zauna da Allah kowa ya zauna za mu fara sallamar Delhi Nigeria da Jafar Jafar bayan mun yi addu'a idan sun shiga sun tafi motar su saboda dama sun a samu loudness Mana ruang ada daga member na seorang speaker kuna member daga ribu selatan ribu. Ayat yang khusus awal dah kata tuan Allah sa gaskia gaskia tu tiba-tiba cuma Allah orang ini kalau dengan Allah dia akan kasatan Allah kalau betul betul masuk betul betul Allah kalau bukan betul. Aya tulikusu Ina 
تَعْتَبِرُ بِمَا يُحِلُّكَ اللَّهُ مَا تَقْدَرُ مِنْ ذِنْبِكَ وَمَا تَأْهَرُ وَيُوتِنُ فَوَلِيكَ وَدِيَكَ سُعَادَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ وَيَنْصُرُ اللَّهُ نَصْرًا أَيُّهَا كَمَنْ فَاتَنَ غَلِيلَةً غَلَبَ فِيهَا تَنْصُرُ تَنْ بِهِمْ وَهُمْ صَابِرُونَ رَبَّنَا آتِنَا مِنْ لَدُنْكَ رَحْمَةً وَهَيِّئْ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْرِنَا شَرًّا سُبْحَانَ رَبِّكَ رَبِّ الْعِزَّةِ عَمَّا يَصِفُونَ وَسَلَامٌ عَلَى الْمُرْسَلِينَ وَالْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ Why is it not? Malin Jaffer.